Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Rapid Streams app to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, you need to get the app called Downloader on your Fire Stick. If you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have Downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course you gotta follow me. So we just need to go to a search bar on your Fire Stick. Here it is. Just open the search and start typing Downloader in here. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You click on it, and here is that app, which you need to get to your device. But then after you got Downloader, it's not over yet because you still need to set it up. So in order to set up the loader now, we have to go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon. Then you will scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And now from here, what you have to do is turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go into install unknown apps. And in here, what you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we just go back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is. Open it. Wait a moment until it loads. And there is the downloader application. But now before actually using downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Hungary right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone, or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we just go back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick, locate and loader, and let's use it now. So here in the search bar, you just have to enter the code, which is going to be 3 
one, four, two, zero, nine, four. So once again, it's three, one, four, two, zero, nine, four. Make sure to enter this code without making any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code will not work. And then just click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about fire sticks. And now the load of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. And then you just click install and wait a bit until the installation is finished. And then don't click on open yet, instead press done, because this way you get the option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your fire stick. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your fire stick. And it's really important, because by default your fire stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. Now let's go back to the list of apps on your device, open it, wait a moment until it loads, and then here at the bottom you will find the Rapid Streams application. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Just click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.